Hey, 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 look, look, look at this. Look, hey, you P Penn State fans, look, 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 hold on. Look, 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 oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me, uh, let me continue it. Let me, uh, hold on a second. Just hold on, just hold on a hot second here. Just for all of you, uh, all of you Michigan haters out there. Okay. Hold on. Let me just wait for it. Here we go. All right. Yeah, here you go. See that? Michigan Wolverines seven and zero consecutive seasons for the first time since the early seventies. Wow, it looks wow. It's like we're actually a good team. I can't believe it. Anyway, so hold on. Another thing. So I got my helmets over here. I'm gonna grab my the Penn State one. All right, got the Penn State helmet. Right. Where where are we gonna put this? Oh 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 oh. <laughs> Anyway, so here's the things. <laughs> so Michigan played really good. Um, they obviously the game was like, like freaking some days ago. Today's Wednesday. Um, Michigan will beat Penn State forty-one to seventeen. They beat a top ten ranked team. Not anymore, but they were at the time forty-one to seventeen. At home, Michigan's got a bye week now, and then the upcoming week will be the battle for the Paul Bunyan Trophy. That's a big game. It'll be a night game, too. So, um, here's my thoughts and my feelings from the Penn State game. I don't really have that much to complain about. I mean, obviously, I mean, a 41 to 17 win against a top 10 team. Uh, McCarthy, I, I get here's some like the nitpicks, I guess. JJ McCarthy had some bad throws. Obviously, he almost had a pick six that you know he was just he, he, he was running and he just, just threw it right when he's about to go down. And then the, somehow the Michigan guy, I don't even remember who caught it, came down with it. But then later, he ended up throwing a pick six, a second interception of the season. And he didn't. He didn't have any touchdown passes this game, but he still, he only threw six incompletions because that one was an interception. Um, obviously, that's pretty much the only thing. Uh, this wasn't JJ's best game. Um, I'm sure he could turn it around, especially against Michigan State's terrible secondary. So, but obviously, the the number one highlight here was the running backs: Blake Corum, Donovan Edwards. And J.J. McCarthy on his uh, few keepers combined for over 400 rushing yards against uh, the fifth best rush defense in the nation. So, obviously, uh, they suck. <laughs> Anyways, um, Blake Corum is amazing. Best running back that Michigan's had, and I can't tell you how long. Donovan Edwards, really good, too. Um Donovan Edwards is definitely going to be a great successor once Corum leaves. Um, I knew, I I knew Blake Corum was going to be a good running back after because last year he was backing up Hassan Haskins and both Haskins and Corum combined for good games last season. Now it's Corum and Edwards. So Blake Corum, Donovan Edwards had a hell of a game back on Saturday. I mean, obviously, if you rush, if you combine for 400 rushing yards against the fifth best rush defense in the nation, I mean, obviously, that's really good. Um, Blake Corum is shaping up to be one of the best running backs in the nation, one of, if not the best running back in the nation, but I'm sure there's some that, I, I don't know. Blake, that, that's the man right there. That, that, that's the man. He did get a little hurt. He did uh, towards the end of the game. He was he was limping. He he he, he was limping, but um, it's nothing serious. And Michigan has a bye week this week, so he'll be he'll he'll get rested up for it. Michigan State. He'll be a okay. But Penn State. I mean, Sean Clifford. Sean Clifford had a good game. Hold on, there's something, something on the ground here. It's a freaking what the, what the hell? What, what what the hell is this? How that this? It's a freaking Buckeye trying to infiltrate the basement and not in my household. Get out of here. Anyway, um, 
So, um, what was I talking about? Penn State. Um, they didn't really do anything. I mean, their first half was really their uh, rise of glory. I mean, I think their best play of the game on offense was Sean Clifford's huge touchdown run. Or, no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say Sean Clifford. I should call him the Cincinnati kid since Gus Johnson thought that's just what his name was. Um, but the Cincinnati kid, you know, his big... <laughs> Big rush. It wasn't a touchdown, but that was a really poor play by the defense. But other than that, Michigan's defense played really good. The second half, they only allowed three points, and that was Penn State's first possession of the second half. After that field goal, they didn't do anything. And then Clifford ended up getting hurt in, uh, later in the fourth quarter, and they brought in some backup. I don't remember what his name is. But it didn't matter. They didn't do anything. Michigan's still, like, the best. You know, uh, Penn State kind of sucks. But um, Michigan's defense had a hell of a game, too. I mean, they had some miscues in the first half, definitely. But they cleaned it up in the second half. Um, but the miscues in the first half weren't terrible. It's not like, oh, my God, they were oh, just so terrible, you know. But... No, they only allowed uh, they allowed fourteen point or no, they allowed seven points because their other touchdown was a pick six. So Michigan's defense amazing game against a top ten team and gave Penn State their first loss of the season. Even though Penn State had a bye week to prepare for us, but they obviously didn't use it very well. They still lost the damn game, but um, not really much else to say about this game. Except Michigan had a hell of a game. JJ, JJ McCarthy wasn't his best game, but then again, he didn't play terrible. He didn't cost us the game in any way. I mean, the only his only really bad thing was that pick six in the first half. But McCarthy is still a good quarterback. I know that you know he's gonna turn it around. I think he's been having. Um, he had a good. He had a great game against Indiana. He had three touchdowns over two. Maybe 300 yards? I can't remember. Did have that interception. He had an interception this week. This wasn't JJ's best game, obviously, but I think if if the offensive coordinators and Harbaugh lets it happen, uh, McCarthy should have a field day against Michigan State because, like I've said before, Michigan State secondary is terrible. Every time, every quarterback they play against has a field day against them, unless if they're like a crappy team. Um... I should I I'll rephrase it to every Big Ten quarterback so far, and JJ McCarthy should be the same. Um, Corm and Edwards should have you know amazing game. I mean they had a they had four hundred yards against the fifth best rush defense. So what's what's Michigan State's excuse? Um, but bye week this week, and le next week. Hopefully it's a night night game. Hopefully they go out, kick some butt, bring the uh, Paul Bunyan Trophy back home to Ann Arbor. They haven't had it since 2019 because they lost it in 2020. And then Michigan State kept it in East Lansing last year. So hopefully this year Michigan gets to bring it back to Ann Arbor. But right to help right back to its rightful spot, you know. Anyway, so... Um, Good, go blue, you know, um, this is the man, Th this is, this, the good, good boy, this is the man, this is the, this is the man right here, this is the man, this is gonna lead us to greatness, see you guys.